but have Zion finally got it. So if we can bring up negative things going on about the situation, we can bring up positive things as well. And uh, I just want to give a shout out to the guy. The guy looked like he's figuring it out, uh, battling for the playoffs. They beat the Suns last night. I think he recorded like 29 points, uh, 10 rebounds, 7 assists, and I believe 5 blocks. So the guy's been playing very well, and it seems like he's got his head together, fighting for the playoffs. They're in the seventh spot right now. I think they're battling with the Phoenix Suns. They just beat them last night, so they're kind of tied and knotted up. So whether he's in the play-in or the playoffs, you're going to get to see Zion Williamson uh, in the postseason or somewhat of meaningful basketball. But I just wanted to come in and spotlight this guy because it looks like he's turning around. Everything is still pending. We don't want to say he figured it out. This is the Zion we're going to get from now on. No, we're not saying that. What we're saying is the man has strung together in a few months after he was able to stay on the court playing out of his mind and helping his team get to the play-in and maybe to the playoffs. So he's been on a tear here of late. Expectations. Guy had a lot of big expectations coming in from Duke. Now he's living up to what everybody expected him to be like coming out of college. Too young and too much talent to just let it go all the waste. Zion Williamson has picked up his play and it seems like he's got his mind together. He's playing some outstanding basketball and we're just here to give him a shout out. Great job, nobody wanted to see you lose. We want you to showcase your talent. We want you to be one of the greats in the league if that's possible. You got a long way to go, but one step is just being healthy. Stay on your nutrition. We don't know if his nutrition is all in order, but you gotta have some kind of nutrition about yourself to stay on the court at this moment and play the way you're playing. So something has changed. As far as your head space, it seems like you're buying in on a team now. You're holding yourself accountable. You even want to play defense. Think about that. Zion Williamson is now trying to own up on defense along with his outstanding offensive play. This guy can do it on both ends and stay healthy. He still has time to resurrect his career. Got plenty of time, young guy. He just cannot make any more mistakes. He got to move forward from here. And I'm glad to see him. I want to see him in the postseason. Mix it up a little bit. See what he got to offer. We're going to get into some media. We're going to get into a little highlights with him playing against the Suns last night. And we're going to get into some after-game interviews. When we get done with that, we'll come back and finish it up. But shots out to Zion Williamson for trying to turn his career around. He's strung together enough months now to where you can say, okay, look like he's buying in. Look like he loves the game again. So I guess we could say uh, he found his happy place. Your own happy place. Defensively, I mean, five blocks, previous career high was three. I mean, what kind of zone were you just in on that end of the floor today, you think? Um, <clears throat> I was just real locked into the, the game plan. And, you know, they got a few players over there, dude. Just spade to spade. They're special players. So, you know, I feel like if I was guarding one of them late in the game, uh, that would give my team energy. Yeah, I mean, you know, five, five games left, including this one. You come, come in tonight, you know, like, obviously understanding the stakes, but no one, like, I got to leave it all out there because there's just, you know, not that much left depending on how this goes. No, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's that time of the season. <laughs> yeah, boy. We're just taking it one game at a time. Every game for us is very important. Um, we understand the situation we're in, and you know we're gonna play the cards dealt to us. Talk to you a few times about the, the strategy teams are throwing at you, where they're you know kind of parking their center under the basket and waiting for you. Uh, what was kind of key to you finding the response to that tonight? Um, <clears throat> well, it was JV, um, especially Dyson, just a quick flash. Make yourself a threat to where, you know, whoever's the help, whoever the help defender is, they got that moment of hesitation because I can take advantage of that moment. Yeah. He just got crazy. Now look behind him. Good job. Now, the break. Jack Nurkic is here. And he's got to go with his hand. Right. And Allen. Right. Allen coming up short on the three ball. So while they're dry, make them pay. Z got there, gets the roll. Second bucket of the game for Zion. 
three minutes gone by. But just keep your eyes on Yusef Nurkic. Keep yep. your eyes on Yusef Nurkic, because he's going to be a help guy. And a nice toss. Nice little flip. It. Now Z on the run, up against Nurkic. He's got some room. Spin to the baseline. He'll take it himself and get it. Now Zion on the move. Little 10 footer. Yes! This is the shot that. Jose gets the 50 50. CJ, tough three. Coming up short. Z took it away. Z got it right back from you guys. I see you, young man. Took it away. Z. You got to get back to spacing out. Z on the run. Gets the roll. Pushed back up by one. Zion up to 21. On his way to the rack. And Euros is going back to the pass. for the league leader. You're living right. Now take advantage inside of five. Sees 15 footer. Got it! I love it! Get it in. And, and don't, don't delay. Z, he got the switch to Nurkic. Should be able to go by him. He will. That came from Sunday. You said. Well, you knew he was going to blow by him. You didn't know which side. But the hell's not there. Right. The hell's not there again. Bradley Beal holds him up. Z. Yeah, you got to go to work. Z's going to get there. Floater. Got the roll. Like, oh, my gosh. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. Yeah, this is Zion Williamson at his finest on both ends of the floor. Young man, you have been every bit of fantastic tonight. He's got 29 points now with 10 boards, 7 assists. He certainly put on a show, Joel. Fantastic to watch. See, congrats on this win. Let's start with what changed after the first quarter. A bit of a slow start. Then this team was on a mission rolling. I mean, we were getting the shots we wanted. They just weren't falling. But coach said, just trust the process. And our shots started falling. And we locked in on defense. How important was CJ to getting the party started tonight? I mean, I've been saying it all year long. CJ is an important piece to this team. So when he starts off aggressive like that, he gets the rest of the team going and opens up the game for me. You got back tonight. Jose got back tonight. That bench, the energy of Larry, Dice, and Jose, not just offensively but defensively, what did it mean to this win? It meant a lot. You know, we one team. You know, we, we are brotherhood over here. So to have Jose back, I mean, y'all saw it. The energy was there. Speaking of a brotherhood, when those guys, Dyson and Jose, comes rocketing across the court to your defense against Devin Booker, what does that mean to you personally? I mean, it means a lot. And it's what the team and the coach have been, you know, preaching all year long. Like, we family. And it's as simple as that. Does Zion Williamson play better ticked off? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> well, it was fun to watch you on both sides of the ball tonight. Amazing job, my friend. Thank you, thank you guys. All right, Jed, a career best five blocks for Z. And this is just the beginning. He's sound, he's healthy. We got to keep winning, man. We got to keep winning. That's all that matters. Keep winning. It's a Stop. testament to the adversity we've been facing. But we family. Tough times make you better men. That's what tonight was.